and the culture of the organization is like the air that we breathe that um, that's everywhere it's pervasive so um, i think the the uh, as we go forward with the business some of the things that we are trying to do is to build an appreciative culture where everybody gets appreciated or when they do the right thing but also a performance oriented culture where you know what metrics what you have to do and an agile culture where you are working together to get to an outcome so that's one aspect which is internal in terms of uh, uh, rewarding culture in terms of performance culture uh, in terms of uh, uh, caring culture etc but there is an external element also which is what do we do as a business what do we do to the society that we live in one are we being equal opportunity yes uh, if you look at moving walls history and even if you look at it currently uh, without even planning for it um, there are a lot of leadership positions and management and even at all levels we have gender equality and by definition the company has about 14 15 nationalities working for the company and uh, you know we do not uh, differentiate based on nationality or gender or age or or any of these things um, where we need to improve yes there are areas of improvement uh, we are looking at how we can incorporate more people with differentially abled or uh, you know uh, and and those are activities that we need to get better at so that's one part of it the other part of it is also this real society that we live in which kind of led to the creation of uh, moving hearts moving hearts is something that we created about a year ago and one of the first initiatives that we did was to say that hey we have uh, 500000 digital screens on the platform we know when the inventory is expiring we have the ability to convert that um, in, and uh, into meaningful things for organizations that are looking for this uh, media so that led to the creation of moving hearts and we have supported maybe 30 35 campaigns over the last year across multiple markets in singapore malaysia vietnam um, and and even taiwan uh, where we are supporting causes with visibility and free air time from working with our partners who own that actual media Um, now that led to a thought to say what else can we do and obviously environment esg is becoming a very powerful uh, requirement in today's world in today's business so we are looking at how can we use uh, how can we be more environmentally friendly how can we go into net zero carbon products <laughs> in summary i think the business uh, moving walls is built upon uh, five elements of nature in being harmony with them that you are able to look at the future all the time you are also looking you are you have the ability to work together in a seamless manner to achieve the goals and then you have these metrics that constantly remind you where you are and what changes you need to make to get there it's almost like the guiding compass in terms of where we should be going and then we have fire which is the real people who make this work and finally the culture in terms of how we care for each other and how we care for the society i think that's really uh, what shapes moving walls